When people reach out to me and ask for help, Oli, I need help to drop some fat. I need help to get in shape. I need help to be better my business and get it where it needs to be because I can't focus. There's one thing that I do multiple times with every single client I work with and every single person that asks for help. Let's track their food. Track your food in a way that works for you. Whether that's using an app like MyFitnessPal, like Mike's Macros, or simply taking photos of it, even just jotting down on a piece of paper what you eat and when you eat, what you drink and when you drink it. These things are going to help you, even using the Note app on your iPhone. Jot down and get some awareness over what you're eating. They say what gets measured gets managed, and that is so true. But even before we get into the amounts, we just want to simply make it a conscious a conscious practice when you eat food because a lot of the times when you're sitting at your desk in the office and someone brings in snacks you eat these without even realizing and before you know it someone's brought popcorn in someone's brought some M&Ms in someone's brought some other candy that is very very easy to eat without even realizing it you've soon topped up your calories for that day by about 1000 1500 2000 calories and your body isn't even full it's just pure sugar that it's not necessarily going to be bad in the right place, but just having this with low nutrient density is going to make you hungrier. It's going to make you overeat even more, which then is going to lead to more fat being put around your body. And you're going to feel sluggish. You're not going to have the energy or the focus that you need. Now, tracking food, people say you've not told them what calories to have. No, that's fine. I don't care how many calories you're eating straight away. I just want to know what you're eating, know what certain practices you've got. And then I have certain methods that mean we don't have to overhaul the whole diet. Unless you're eating pizza like seven or eight times a week, then we need to do something about that. But it's taking small steps every single day. No overwhelm, no decision fatigue or anything like that. Simply tracking the food allows for people to do this. However, even when people know they need to track their food, they can stop doing it. Because they get into a routine. I eat this food, that food, that food, I eat the same thing every day. So they stop tracking their food. Before they know it, their portion sizes get bigger. Before they know it, they start adding a little snack in here and there. Before they know it, 20 grams of peanut butter becomes 40 grams. And before they know it, they're again eating five, six, seven, eight hundred 800 calories a day extra over a meal extra a day simply by not tracking their food. Now that's not to say that you can't go a meal or two without tracking, that's totally fine. But being consistent over time is going to allow you to get the results. So if you don't track your food, maybe that's the first step before you reach out for me. If you've tried that, drop me a message. If you still think, well, Ollie must have a magic pill, yes, it's called accountability. If you need that magic pill, get in touch with me and we can talk to see if you're a right fit to be a client on my Revitalization Blueprint coaching. I look forward to speaking to you.